I'm going to share with you that feeling I went through when I was just getting on board and climbing up the gangway of my first ship which I joined in 1992, 1st of September. So join me in this short video where I'll tell you exactly what I went through and my feelings. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a life coach, hypnotherapist, counselor, REBT specialist, subconscious mind expert, dream therapist, and a karma manager and a graphologist. So these are all the certifications I have attained purely out of passion while I was sailing and during my times when I was ashore. It has all helped me understand people and now I help people build better relations. So continue watching and stay subscribed to this channel because I will be sharing ways and tips and tools on how to improve your relationships on the ship, in your house and in the office. I was just 17 and a half when I got on board the ship. My brother had to sign my indentures because under 18 you're not even allowed to sign any official document. From Kandla, we port, we went to the vessel by boat because my ship was uh, at anchor. Started walking up the gangway, excuse me, and I, with my bags and suitcase, I started climbing up the gangway. You know, they were heavy. I was carrying stuff for almost, I don't know, maybe eight to nine months. And all the flashes of my life of the last 17 and a half or 18 years were just flashing into my mind. After all, you know, we are kids, right? All new joiners, all trainees coming in, they're young boys. My mom was so emotional and I also kept crying when just before leaving home. It was 18 years that uh, I had never been away from my mother for more than two days. And here I was, I was gonna be away for almost uh, a year at least. So as I kept climbing up, I was feeling very happy about my career starting, I was feeling very excited to think about the future on what's coming ahead and I was uh, feeling a little insecure because no family, friends, everybody is going to be very new, I don't know what to expect ahead. So that's uh, what you will go through when you're joining your on the first day on board the ship. Then I remember coming up the gangway and there was nobody. You know, it's not like today ISPS and safety management and security management system, nothing. There's nobody, I just, with my bags, I went to the accommodation and opened the door of the accommodation and suddenly I got that cool breeze of the air conditioning system. Stepped in with my, uh, you know, putting my leg over the watertight door, entered inside, not knowing where to go. And then suddenly somebody said, new joiner, go up to the bridge panting and breathing heavily uh, with my bags i reached the bridge deck somebody from the other side uh, shouted out uh, are you the new cadet i said yes sir i'm the new cadet and uh, he said okay inko inka cabin dekhao somebody was instructed and then that person was taking me down and he just shouted back get into your cabin change up and come on deck okay i was like yes sir and no paperwork no safety feminization, no job feminization, not the way things are today. As soon as the cabin door was opened, I saw a double bunk, very small, narrow cabin where I saw some bags there and I assume that it's probably the bags of another person who's already living in the cabin, but he was not there. So I changed up quickly into my boiler suit, the boiler suit which I had just tried, uh, you know, for uh, as a trial uh, at VT. And I was so excited that first time I was getting to officially wear my boiler suit. Came out on deck and I just didn't know what is happening. And somebody said, okay, new cadet, idhar kade ho jao side mein. And we just, I was just standing there in that corner and some work was going on. I think I was a little bit in my thinking about my home, thinking about my life at home. So my mind was going in and out of it. I was excited, happy, sad. Somebody came and told me, okay, you can go and knock off. I didn't know what is knockoff and uh, they sent me to my cabin, they said have your dinner then report to the bridge in your uniform. Wow, like the first day wearing my boiler suit and then immediately wearing my uniform. From there I went to the bridge after my dinner 
and uh, on the bridge 7 o'clock in the evening till 8 o'clock the chief officer normally keeps watch me on the bridge I was pretty lost people do give you an opportunity to take it easy we were lucky then but today's times even the regulation says that you must give time you must familiarize the person never put them on a job before they get really acquainted with the ship you must be part of a drill uh, initially itself uh, for the safety reasons so that was my first uh, I would say first day on board which was full of excitement and today is 28 29 years I've been a captain for very long I have now recruited people and I'm now helping people to get settled well with the shipping industry and to identify. We all get worried about what's going to happen ahead. This is called the fear of the unknown. When the subconscious doesn't know what's going to happen ahead, it already has a fear of the unknown. And even if the known was bad, there is never a fear of it. It's still called pleasure in hypnosis and subconscious mind work because it's already been done. So going on a ship is a very unknown feeling. So you might feel that anxiety, but remember you always get by. You always get by your 10th, you get by your 12th, you get by your first ship, you get by your promotions. Life is always very good. So never, never, never crumble in this fear because you will one day also be chief engineers or captains of the ship. So best of luck to that. I hope you enjoyed this and do comment and let me know if you are somebody joining a ship and if you would like me to share something which you believe is uh, important for you at the moment, let me know. I'll be very, very happy to share. Until my next video, Captain Amit Bhandari, bye-bye.